Ellen sent a message to her DJ Twitch after he took his own life. She said, I'm heartbroken. Twitch was pure love and light. He was my family. I loved him with all my heart. I would miss him. Please send your love and support to Allison and his beautiful children, Wesley, Maddox, and Zaya. Yo, this is crazy. I was scrolling and saw this earlier, and the report said that his wife noticed that he left the house without his car, and that's something that he usually don't do. Then she went down to the LAPD, and they ended up doing the search, found him in a hotel room, already dead on the scene from a parent suicide. That is crazy. And they was posting a video that he did just three days ago, dancing with him and his wife. They were celebrating Christmas. That's the thing. When somebody going through depression or suicidal thoughts, they may not share it with nobody or they might keep it bottled up, whatever, and just show them smiling or they can appear happy. You just never know what nobody going through. The thing I'm just most concerned about is the wife and the kids. Like, damn. I'm not going to say he was selfish for taking his own life, but damn. He left his wife, his kids. Ain't no telling what he was going through to even take it to that point. I wasn't that familiar with him, but I know when my mama used to watch Ellen all the time, I just happened to sit down and look at it with her. And I always noticed him in the back, always laughing, joking around saying little one-liners, her and Ellen joking back and forth. I used to notice him. I ain't never think too much of it. I just know he had a great personality. But behind that laugh, behind that smell, could be something that's going on. The same thing with Robin Williams. He was always laughing and joking, doing all the comedic movies, and he killed himself. You just never know what nobody else is going through. It's just sad but true. Unfortunately, he was only 40 years old. And so many things going for us. So it just goes to show you, no matter how much money you make, no matter how successful you might get, you're always going to be fighting demons. And you got to reach out and talk to people, man, before it's too late. Rest in peace, Stephen Boss. It's your boy B. Make sure you like I'm trying. I'm out.